I'm curious if I want to do like a victory lap on every ship on like all the sea ships that we've unlocked after this. I probably won't, but that's definitely something we could do. So that is every ship unlocked except for the Crystal B. All right. Um, what's what's chairs YouTube? <laughs> all plurays chair. Uh, Rand touches butts with that chair. I do. I do. Hey, bring back chair. He's still here. This is a this is a dual stream. You heard of that new uh, that new Twitch thing where you can squad stream? I'm squad streaming with Chair right now. All right, so we need two achievements for layout B. What do we got? Oh god, destroy an enemy ship with a shard from the Crystal Vengeance. Okay. Trap four enemy crew in a single room using the Crystal Being power or a lockdown bomb. Okay, that's not too bad. But I have to lock four people with us. Okay. And then destroy 10 rock ships. Oh, I thought this was 15. The first time I played through FTL to get all the achievements. This is the last one I did. It was so hard. Chair needs googly eyes. Did this used to be 15? Or has this always been 10? I feel like this used to be more. Alright. Um... Name the chair after you, nobody special. <laughs> but he is special. Oh man, this one's annoying. Sweet revenge. So, we basically have to get somebody down to one health. And then take a bunch of damage. So I probably will start, usually I sell this, because this is like, in my opinion, one of the worst augments in the game. But also simultaneously one of the best, because it sells for 40. Um, I might do a run real quick where I just... Do that, take a bunch of damage to get that out of the way, and then restart. Because that's that's just a just a niche little thing you have to do. All right, let's go. That's kind of like the uh, casual achievement: get down to one health and re return to full. All right, I'll just get myself down to help one health right next to a store and do it real fast. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um. Yeah, let's, we can probably do it on this first fight. <laughs> Took you two runs to get that one. Crystal Vengeance is super easy to get. Alright, I'm going to get him down to... Like I said, one health. <laughs> okay. So I need to keep that single laser online. I need him to not have dodge. Um, okay, so I need to hit get him down to again one health. Okay. So what I need to do is find fire one crystal burst and then depower after the first shot. So it only fires the one. That's a hit. And now we need to get hit and it fire and kill him, is what we need to happen. And him not to run away. So Alright, bro, let's get this done. <laughs> Don't dodge! <laughs> Damn it. This is not the time to be dodging right now. It's like, well, last run you said we didn't dodge enough. Well, now I need you to dodge less, okay? Why is this weapon not firing? Come on. Watch him watch it not fire. Was it a 10% chance? Oh my god. This is such a stupid achievement. Come on. It fired, it fired immediately early. Okay, there we go. Don't dodge. I dodged it. A <laughs> stupid game. Uh, freaking hell. It's a store. Hey, there's my pre-igniter. First jump pre-igniter. What a trolly ass game. Freaking dodged it. All right, we're definitely not continuing this run. We're just gonna get this stupid bullshit achievement real fast. Ugh, what a dumb achievement this is. Can I name a crystal after chair? No, not right now. Not on this run, since we're just trying to freaking do this stupid achievement first to get the uh, crystal be unlocked. What a what a what an annoying start. Does the deep power trick work with burst lasers? It does. Yes. And I didn't. I forgot that you could do that. Somebody actually told me to do that one time, and I was like, I totally forgot that that was a thing. 
Okay. This is... The reason why this achievement is stupid is because this augment is terrible. It's just stupid. It's a 10% chance that you can fire something that can do one damage, that can be missed, that can uh, that can be dodged, and a defense drone can shoot down. Worst augment in the game. Just, just absolute crap. I would rather have, you know, emergency respirators or something than that crap. Just a w completely worthless augment. I know, FTL frivolous trolling. <laughs> there you go. Explore. Well, look at all these stores when all I want to do is get this dumb achievement done. Come on. Uh, ferrets are awesome. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's it's really useless. The only good thing about it is that it's free 40 scrap early. Really? A mind control Zoltan shield ship? I mean, come on, game. Christ. I guess I gotta do this. Imagine if the second store had the pre-igniter too. No, I'm not going to the stores because I don't care. <laughs> that is not the purpose of this run. You'd, we'd just be torturing ourselves if we went to stores looking for stuff. Actually, let me let me get the mind control offline. Because it's annoying. And we don't want his weapons offline because we need those to activate this stupid augment. Uh, no surrender. All right, so if this hits, um, yeah, let's hit the shield so that'll keep him off weapons and stuff. Good. All right, here we go. Beam is actually good because every room that it hits is another chance for it to fire. All right, come on, get this dumb achievement done. Well, even this hull beam is only hitting my weapons here. At least he ain't running. True. At least he's not running. He's not running, running, and running, running, run, running, running, and. I mean, look how much damage we've taken, and we've only fired off two of these uh, crystal things. It's such a terrible augment. Okay, do I? Here's the thing: Do we die before we even fire off a crystal, uh, whatever it's called? Crystal, I can't even remember what the damn thing's called. If he has two empty rooms, we're just dead. <laughs> For anybody who wondered why everyone sells the crystal augment, that's why. It's actually shit. It's actually shit. 10% chance to do one damage that you do when you take damage. It's absolutely terrible. How dare I? How dare I tell the truth, Kenny? How dare I tell the truth? I wonder if, uh, oh, he's just running away. I wonder if solar flare doing damage to you can cause a retaliation. Now that would be interesting. Okay, and then we do this so we don't dodge because all I care about is getting this stupid achievement done. Come on, come on. Actually, I don't care if I, I dodging this is fine. Ugh, what a dumb achievement. Achievement's stupid. Alright, that's our ship completely on fire. Ha! <laughs> the solar flare. Oh, the solar flare just killed him. Oh my god. It's just a dumb achievement. It's just dumb. At TL, you're dumb. Okay. Solar flare better than Crystal Vengeance? 100%. <laughs> There's a burst laser too. Um, I don't want my crew to die, so I'm gonna do 
this and this. Do do do. Actually, we want to hit his piloting first because hitting shields doesn't matter. Do that. Okay, I need one more. Well, I need both my shots hit. They should. Are you freaking kidding me? Why did that go off? <sighs> Fuck you, FTL. God damn it. All I want to do is this stupid achievement game. Stop. Making my life a living hell right now. God. There. Okay. Probably gonna kill this guy right now. Uh, he won't die from the single burst laser shot. <laughs> uh, okay. <sighs> Ten percent chance. Might as well be zero percent chance. Might as well be zero percent chance. Oh my god, this is such a dumb achievement, and I have to do it because there's no way I get the other achievements. Hey, what do you know? He's out of bombs. There it is. Thank God. All right. <laughs> Dumbest achievement ever. All right, now we start a real run. Now we start a real run. Uh, just, just dumb. All right, so locking four dudes in a room or destroy ten rock ships. Locking four dudes in a room is actually tough without boarding. Now the runs really start. <laughs> Scraps on the debris. Okay. Oh, I was talking crap about solar flares, so now solar flares is gonna show me what's up, I guess. Hopefully now I don't get really wrecked now that I'm actually trying to play. Okay, take away my dodge, alright. Uh wow, eight missiles is actually a very good deal. I'm gonna take that. Three fuel eight missiles is actually very good. The runs, but my toilet paper. Ew. That's what I have to say about that. Ew. Okay, it's not in any of my system rooms. Ah, I saw the damage there, so it must be over here. Yep, okay. Okay, all right. All right, now it's time to really show Crystal Vengeance true power. The power to sell for 40 scrap. So where's my store so I can sell for 40 scrap and get, like, long-range scanners or something? Investigate. Nice. All right. It's actually a very good start. That's a lot of scrap, actually. almost have enough for shields already. I reject your offer and substitute my own. doop a doop <laughs> uh, you fire before me, don't you? Okay. Good dodges. Not as good dodges. Very nice. I was thinking if I actually get the Crystal B unlocked today, I would do one victory lap and I would just do it on the Crystal B because it's like such an OP ship and it's like my second favorite boarding ship. It's OP as hail. You know what? This is a rock ship, so if I keep track... I need nine more rock ships. Maybe y'all can help me keep count of the possibility of us actually getting the rock ship achievement. TP is still missing in my area. You had to order a case from Home Depot business. Yeah, at last... Two, three times I've gone to the store, there's been no toilet paper. Thankfully, I've been able to get some from the church every time I go there. They're like... You know, they're a big church and they have so many bathrooms, they just have tons of toilet paper, so... That's where I've been getting mine. Long time YouTube watcher, first time on the live stream. Well, welcome, unoriginal name. Welcome to the live stream, my friend. Please don't hit my weapons, please, please. Woo! 
Ooh, Dumble Doge. Very nice. Okay. Foraging for toilet paper, yes. <laughs> it's basically, uh, what was that, what was that game we were just talking about? This war of mine? Only instead of looking for guns and stuff to defend ourselves, we're just looking for toilet paper. Wow, another eight missiles. I'm gonna take that. That lets us do the, um, self 15 for 45 scrap deal. Um, <laughs> it's out of season. <laughs> Toilet paper is out of season. One, two, three, four, five. What's up, Contasul? How are you doing, my friend? Best you found was a little four-pack of single ply. Couldn't TP a clown car with it. <laughs> Couldn't TP a clown car. Hey, a guy who can't do damage. Nice. And how's that for a strange thing to say? Stealing toilet paper from the church sinful. Well, it's not stealing when they're giving it to you. And I'm being very frugal and taking only one every time I go, even though they have, like, a whole bunch. The guy's like, no, take more. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to be those people who hoard it. I just, every time, I, I go to the church once a week for the recording for the stuff we're doing. So if I grab one once a week, that's more than enough. Thanks for the map right at the end. Uh, not really useful. But I guess it lets us know that that's a scrap jump. So one, two, three, four. You made yourself some lemonade? Nice. How does being forced to do home office feel for me? Star-Lord, this is my normal life. I, home office is my normal office. What would, what would make it hard is if I was still driving Uber Lyft, because I would be so afraid of getting Corona like every time I worked, basically. That's a great deal. I would be so afraid of getting, I mean, people who like are doing taxis and people who are Ubering, like, they gotta have, they have to have been exposed to it, like, super early on. <laughs> Take more. No thanks. I'm not that shitty. <laughs> What's home office? Is that, is that a meme? Is that a meme that I don't get? But yes, I work out of my home because... Yeah, 95% of streamers do that. There are a few streamers who I think actually have a studio they go to. Like, some of the big streamers do that, I think. Automated Reloader is nice. All right, 100% we're selling that. Do, 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 do. I mean, I could go True Teleporter. I just got a free Mantis and I got two Crystal Crew. It's only a two-man teleporter is the thing. However, this could help us get that uh, achievement. Home officing means get to be online watching streams. Also means I'm on the clock whenever they feel like it. Okay. So locking down four guys with a two-man teleporter is not the best. But I think I'm going to do this anyway. So we're going to go crystal dudes. Put you on the weapons and we can send you over to help. Um... The danger is if I actually lock us in with four dudes. Well, you know what? If we lock in with one and three more come in after we've highly damaged like one or two guys, we could probably make this work for this achievement. Okay, so we do that. Uh, sometimes a store here. You're glad you're not working right now. You have asthma, so you're a pretty big risk. You're, uh, Yeah, you're at risk of, of it being a... Uh, doing more more damage to you, huh? I don't know if you tried this as a challenge before, but I run with the Mantis, the only repair crew, and the same time Zoltan's the only boarding crew. Yeah, somebody told us Contasul has asked us to do the basically the shitty crew challenge. Like, you can only board with, like, NG or Zoltan. We tried that, like, once or twice and got absolutely destroyed. It's a terrible, it's a terrible challenge. So, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not doing that anymore. Not, not, that's not on my radar as a challenge that I think is really doable. Oh crap, I thought that one would connect over. Would it be possible to lock a room while your dude is walking out of it the way the locked room stays behind? Maybe. Okay, at least that connects, okay. You can imagine the salt incoming. Yeah, I was, I don't remember if I was salty, because usually for my challenges, I don't get all that salty. Because I, I know what I'm in for. Okay, that guy's coming, so we want to do 
Lock down. Okay. Doo, doo. Beautiful. Bum, 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 bum. So let's take out his mind control and his shields. Ah, okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought this would pierce all shields. What am I thinking? That crystals are a missile? You're not a missile. Do, 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 do. Just run around the ship until teleport cooldown is off and then use a lockdown. You'll be able to TP out at any time. I would do that except that they have to actually have four crew on the ship, Ogre. An early game like this, they usually only have two or three. Three at the most, usually. So, it's very little chance I actually fight a ship with four crew this early in the run. Like, that ship had, uh, what? NG and two humans, I think. So it's just not very likely we'll fight a ship with four crew for that achievement right now. Crystals actually are missiles, but with low shield piercing. Well, yes, true. Which is why I thought they would pierce all shields for a second there. I just wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to my control and boarding there. Okay, so we do this. We now have our second shield. Okay. Zoltans are great for that. I remember that special ship with Zoltans boarding and instantly exploding. Yeah, I mean, that's the only... I mean... Yes, it's good when it's a meme and a... And a ship that has been modified to do that. But Zoltans' borders is actually not really that good. Engies are made of trillions of nanomachines that can reconfigure. And the best they can do is punch enemies. <laughs> okay. So he's going to board me. I only need one shield. So I think what I'm going to do is actually teleport into... Yes, weapons room. And they are still going to board me. That's good. And then when he starts to get low, low, that's when we... Uh, he's getting ready to run. Then we lock it down. Um, He's going to be kind of low on health. Hopefully... Should be okay. Whew. All right, he got low. Uh, let's actually just shoot the heal bay. What am I doing? Shoot that stuff. Okay. Got him. All right, very nice. Hey, what's up, Emzos? How are you doing? I feel like a lot of the challenges Rand has suggested boil down to play the game very slowly with lots of micro. Yeah, that's what a lot of people, a lot of those challenges are. And sometimes those can be fun, but a lot of times they're just tedious. So, I've got a problem with this game I'm currently playing. You're becoming too powerful. What game are you playing, Explosive Ash? Is it Bannerlord or what? NG Slap Fight, rated R. <laughs> TP means toilet paper or telepaper. Telepaper or teleporter. Toilet porter or telepaper? Oh, okay, my bad. I misread that quote, that comment. Six, one, two, three, four. Damn, so I gotta go store now. Three, four, five, six, I do. Ugh, nothing good there. Risk of Rain 2, doubt I've heard of it. I have absolutely heard of Risk of Rain 2. I don't really like the Risk of Rain games, but. Oh, uh, well, I've watched them, but they're just not my, they're not my bag. I can only get 40 scrap. Man, I would love to have been able to get this heavy laser. If only the game didn't force me to go to a store when I had no scrap. You'd love a game like FTL, but you start with a real shit ship, like a one one slot max of three crew, stuff like that, and you can capture better ships as you go. I feel like that's kind of a thing already. Um, are there really no games where you can't? Where you can capture ships. I'm trying to think. There's got to be games where you can capture ships of some sub kind. Some kind. Got it. All right. So let's go into the shield room. Yeah, there's only two crew. Okay. That's what I assumed. Um... 
Capture no, but on Weird Worlds you can get new ships to add to your fleet. Okay. You're a big fan of this Weird, weird Worlds game, huh, Gilnario? I need to check it out. All right, well, free weapon. Stun bomb, but it's a free weapon. Oh, wait, it's Pie Boy's favorite weapon. I forgot. Oh, right, there are games like that, but you mean something with a general combat and style of FTL that you can do that. I got you. Interesting. Um, I wonder if there would be a way to mod that. There's probably no way to mod switching ships in the middle of FTL, is there? Probably people have tried to do that before. So that's probably not something you can do. Cosmeteer and Abandoned Ship. I've played Abandoned Ship. That's the one that's like the pirate version of FTL, right? Yeah, damn it. Uh, I think we lose crew with that. Leave it alone. Freaking empty quest without, I think it's level 2 doors or sensors. I can never remember. Or maybe even level 2 heal bay for that. Hey, we know I got level 2 shields and all of a sudden everybody's got missiles. I should play Minesweeper. There's the game I should play. Minesweeper. Play Minesweeper. Play for days. For days. Lay some lays. Play some lays. I think that's a line in White and Nerdy. This morning, I read a... Um, there was a, like a Facebook article that was talking... That was uh, like... About uh, about Weird Al talking about like his life and history and all this stuff that I was reading, and how White Nerdy is like one of his biggest, most successful songs ever. Uh, yeah, Bandit Ship is pretty fun. Yeah, FTL is probably top of the genre, followed by the other one. Yeah, played a game where you were a robot that could take over robots with special abilities and stuff throughout the game. Way back on I think the S E N N E S. I finished Bo Void Bastards. Did I beat Void Bastards? I think I did. I think I did beat it, and then it turns out you just die or go back into jail or become genetic goo again or something, and then start the next one where it's a hardcore mode or whatever. Pretty sure I beat it, and just... That's another game that's fun, but it's just... It's a little tedious. So, I will not tedious. Uh, holy crap, double stun bomb. Uh, a little... Samey. It's the same thing over and over. There should be a gun bomb. Teleports a minigun that rotates around and sprays a room with bullets. <laughs> a turret bomb. I like it. Nine for doors. That's a great deal. Okay. Damn, I could have got one more jump, but I wasn't sure. That's like... Like, to me, I've seen things that have covered less that I think have not, that have been died. So, just can never be sure. Double civilian sector. Okay. I don't remember what the robot game is called anymore. I just remember liking the concept of being able to gradually upgrade yourself by stealing parts from other robots. Robots, yeah. That does sound pretty cool. What's up, Saucer? Okay. Yeah, that's a dead end. All right, well, we've gotten two free weapons. They are two really crappy weapons. Although, with Stun Bomb... I guess I could Stun Bomb the weapons room. I got 19 missiles. Well, I have to wait for it, and I'd rather just board and block them in. Like, my main issue with Stun Bomb is, like... These guys locking them in does... Just a better job of that. It's just a better version of a stun bomb, basically. Because that's a rock dude coming. You can tell by how slow he's moving. Oh, and because there's a rock dude there, too. Do, 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 do. Do, ba, do, ba, do, do, do. Alright, zero dodges for me so far. I'm going to do this. Of course he dodges. Why wouldn't he dodge? There goes my weapons. Okay. Okay. Okay, that moves him. Good. So I can do that. Okay. Do 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 do. Oh, don't tell me we lose this fight. Okay. 
was gonna say. Oh my god, zero dodges. Zero dodges. I have 20% dodge, but, you know. Uh, it's basically 0%. Well, that hurt. Good thing we still had pretty high health. Wall E is basically an organ bandit. <laughs> that's that's funny. Wall E is an organ bandit. Okay, you guys go heal. You guys go repair. It's a tough ship for Sector 2. Yeah, it is. Had three crew on it, too. I had a... Uh, what, two rock dudes and a mantis dude for anti-boarding? It's freaking strong as hell, man. Do, 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 do. Robots stealing parts from each other is messed up if you translate it back to humans. Well, a lot of things that... animals do... or... like, if you think of all a lot of the stuff that, like... animals do if humans did it to each other... I mean, nature, what is that Reddit? Nature is metal. I think some of the crazy, I think I one time saw like some pelican just eating another bird live. And I'm like, holy crap. That's terrifying to me. That'd be like a human eating a orangutan live or something or a little monkey live or something. It's like just a smaller version of yourself just eating it. It's insane, man. It's actually terrifying. Um... Let me get to this on here. So if I have a two shield ship, that'll be decent. So under the analogy, Eve is the one percent, and Wally is a poor ghetto robot. <laughs> Nature is quite metal. That is an excellent Reddit thread. <laughs> well, it's not just a Reddit thread. It's a Reddit. It's a whole subreddit. What that would be called, I guess. Okay. Uh... All right, good. So his, F his F FTL is delayed. All right, so let's kill him before the thing closes. Good. Do this. Hope I can get one dodge. No, no, yeah, zero dodges. Okay, I'll get down there. Uh, let's see if this hits. Okay, nice. Very nice. Beautiful. All right. We only took one damage. That's pretty good for that fight. But we do th eat things alive. They are just that they are not moving. I don't eat things that are alive. I don't know what you're eating, Dacian. Um, alive means not dead. I've only ever eat, eaten dead things. Although, maybe some bug has gotten in my mouth and I've accidentally eaten it alive one time, but it's not on purpose. <laughs> it's like people enjoy birdsong, but birdsong is basically all the birds screaming, Wanna F? Wanna F? Food, food? Wanna F? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's what you meant, a subreddit, yeah. Sometimes female praying mantis will release mating pheromones to attract mates when they are hungry. Yes. Yes, there's a lot of crazy stuff that kind of blows my mind that happens in nature. Uh, bacteria and microbes don't count for the eating alive thing. Okay, that's a good deal. I'll take a reactor upgrade for that. All right. One, two, three. Yeah, let's do that. A lot of veggies are still alive when you eat them raw. Here you go, Aptom. That's why I don't eat veggies. No, that's not why I don't, because I don't like them. But I don't eat veggies, so <laughs> that does not apply to me. <laughs> Although, eating vegetables, I mean, I do eat avocado, but I don't think I ever eat it raw. So, I don't know. Doesn't seem the same with something that has no central nervous system. Is that what our definition of alive is? It has a central nervous system or something? Oysters are alive. Never eaten an oyster before. Okay. There are two. There's a rock dude here. Okay. So if I do this, um, so if I have him teleport into shields, all, oysters can also make you like have horrible, horrible sicknesses, right? 
I, would, I don't even want to eat oysters, man. Pretty sure that's just a bad time. I hope he's going to win this fight. Good. He's going to try to run there perfect. Okay, well, I'm getting free weapons out the uh, wazoo, so that's pretty nice. Jersey birds should be a thing. I don't know what that is. Otherwise, vegetarians and vegans would have serious issues with their diets if they weren't allowed to eat live vegetables. You meant that some people eat things alive, not you. Oh, okay. I thought you were trying to name things that I've had to prove that I have. Mm. But I'm also a very picky eater, so... Uh, seems nobody here knows, but I remember Rand only eating cookies. <laughs> That's literally all I ate, just cookies. No, I, I, I love bread. Bread's one of my favorite things. One, two, three. And I'm pretty sure bread can't be alive. Although it might have... It uses yeast to rise, which is a living thing. So I don't know if that would count. Pretty sure... Do you eat the yeast? I actually don't know. I have so much stuff to sell at this store, by the way. Two stores here. Did I ever get rid of my timeshare? No. No, I'm, I'm, all I'm doing is trying to pay off the debt that I have with it. Okay, wow. Freaking only ions, stun bombs, and crystal. That are, That is my weapon choices right now. Uh, vegans rely on stealing the fruits of bee labor. Smash the bourgeoisie. <laughs> Raw oysters are amazing, but I can understand why people don't like them. Oh, yeah, it sounds terrible. You used to dead by the time baking is done. You're eating... Bacteria cadavers. I'm cool with that. You only eat synthetic nutrient paste. <laughs> what do I do here, man? This is... There is another store. I think I check. Wait for the other store. Maybe get hacking and wait for the other store. I know I need all the fuel. I think I'll do that. Pretty sure I never use that. Defense scrambler, scrap recovery arm. It's all pretty good. Let's uh, so we have this other store. Let's see what the other store has before we make any other choices. I eat a lot of roof raw food personally. Not like one of those pretentious raw food diets. Just a lot of things taste better raw, like carrots and onions and eggs. Raw egg? That sounds terrible. That sounds oh, that sounds gross. <laughs> Even though I know, like, people, like, are doing, like, workouts and stuff do that because it's, it's, like, lots of protein or something, but ugh. Ugh. Sounds terrible to me. Soylent Green is the only valid, valid food option. But Soylent Green is people! I've heard. All right, do I want to hack? Um, okay, so if I... He does have two shields here. Okay, I hope he doesn't mind control my dudes. Well, we're getting here just in time. So, okay, somebody immediately gets in there. There we go. Uh, teach their own, I guess. Egg, fish, raw fish. I think my ex liked that. Well, I mean, that's sushi, so still. Blech. Again, I am very picky, though, so... Um, let's actually go for the mind control. If I can cancel that out. Yeah. Crap, I let... Uh, I'm misplaying all over the place here. Chat, you're distracting me. Oh, Jesus. Just on the shields. Okay. Okay, we got the laser offline. That's good. Okay, that's another dead guy. If I go in here, that'll pull him out, and I should be able to take out the clone bay. Now we should be good. Hashtag blame chat. There it is. <laughs> another ion charger. Well, this is, uh, I think this might be Farb's dream run. Doesn't Farb love ion chargers? <laughs> Isn't raw egg good for the voice? I don't know that there's any food that can be really good for the voice. Um, because if if food is touching your vocal cords, you you would cough. That's that's going down the wrong tube. 
But as far as actually a food actually being good for the voice, I don't know anything like that. Uh, I like to crack a couple raw eggs over ramen. Raw chicken, yummy. <laughs> yeah, I love salmonella, don't you? Good. I ate raw horse when I was in Japan. Horse sashimi. Wow. Send mantis to shields? Nah. Flak, long range scanners. Okay, there is some good stuff here. The f I think charge on whole beam might be my best build. Uh, if food is touching voice cords, it went the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, people talk about, um, you know, drinking tea for the voice. I mean, sure, it can, like, hydrate you, but it's all it's doing is probably doing things like relaxing muscles back there or something. You actually don't want anything getting to your voice or else you're going to be coughing. Uh, because that's like, when you, if you ever swallow water and it goes down the wrong way, what happens? <coughs> you cough it up. So, when people say things are good for the voice that you ingest, it's usually they're either wrong or have heard something wrong or are talking about how it can hydrate you or something. So, uh, maybe for the throat, maybe it can, like, if your throat's swollen, maybe, maybe it can do something like that. I don't know. But it's not, that's not actually helping your voice. That's just helping your throat or something. Okay, well, we're 100% getting the long range scanners. I feel like I want to do charge ion plus whole beam, which I don't love. But this build I'm not loving. Yeah, it's a flak 2. It's way worse. I mean, flak 2 whole beam wouldn't be terrible, but I, it, it's way too expensive to get online. With heat, it's more to do with the heat relaxing muscles. Yeah, I could see that. But it's a flak. But it's a crappy flak. Um. God, I don't like these choices. Yeah, I, God, I have to sell something and then I have to... I think I actually have to go, like, double charge ion crystal burst? I don't know, like, can I get two power and weapons right now? 85, not even close, man. What is this build right now? Okay, I think I do this. And get... Uh, one charge ion plus a crystal burst, maybe? I mean, like, these weapon choices are just absolutely terrible. After getting double glade beam, I feel so gypped right now. I need, I need that. Oh, this is good, good jumps for scrap, though. This is a gross chat right now. Eating a bunch of raw stuff is gross. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so I need to I need to hack. No, oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? Do I lose this crew cuz I just told them to go to shields? If this happens, I'm so pissed off at FTL right now. Christ. I almost just lost crew from that shit. My god, I might still lose crew. <sighs> Alright, we got the missile offline at least. Christ, man. Okay. Okay, now they can't run and it's breached. Now I just hit this and then swap over to Crystal H here. Raw cookie dough is good. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about raw stuff. It's not my thing, but I can understand some people maybe liking some of it. I don't know. Not my thing, though. That's a player mistake. Having my guy go to shield is a player mistake? Okay, sure. That was really bad luck, is what that was, I think. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, most food is safe to eat raw if it's fresh, and a lot of 
it you personally find delicious. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, sushi is a thing. So eating other things raw, it's probably what our ancestors did before they learned how to make fire anyway, so. Uh, that wouldn't have happened if I had Flak 2. No, if I had Flak 2, I probably wouldn't have got a shot off because he would have hit my weapons with his missile, most likely, because Flak takes a year to charge. Uh, in Japan, they think we're weird because we cook all our meats and eat all our veggies raw. They get grossed out over raw vegetables. Well, I, I'm kind of grossed out by that, too, so. <laughs> but I also don't eat vegetables that much, so. Um, okay, so I want to get the other Crystal H online here. Of course, I'm, boarding is my main offense, so. Can you imagine? I only like my apples raw. I don't know about that. They eat plenty of raw veggies. Edamame and Muli are almost always served raw. Okay, so he's got hacking. He's got two shields. Chain laser. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to attack here. Okay, all right. Just love to hack my uh, my heal bay for some reason. I'm kind of glad that's what they're hacking. You just made some food. You just made some soup. Happy food talk. Nice. They put raw cucumber and eel rolls. The one time I had sushi, it had raw cucumber in it, and I hated it. It's like, this is... Ugh. Did not like. Okay. So we can't dodge. This little one-shot of shields. I'm going to do... I'm going to hit his weapons here. Crap, I timed that wrong. Don't hit my weapons. God damn it, game. Alright, well, I got his shit offline, too. But god damn it. Freaking bullshit. How can you hate cu cucumber? It's so inoffensive. It's like hating water. Because of the texture. I'm a texture person. The main reason I don't like most vegetables is because they have this crunchy, mealy texture. Ugh! Ugh! Makes me gag just thinking about it. I hate the texture of veg raw vegetables. Okay, thank God he hit an empty room that time. <laughs> Only food you eat is raw carrots. The crunch is the best bit. I don't like it. I don't like the veggie or fruit crunch. I just don't like it. Okay, do this. Now we should hit both shots here. Very good. Please don't hit my weapons again. Okay, thank you. Okay. Troll starts. Troll song starts playing in the distance. Okay, chili I made earlier in the week was great. The coffee in it is nice. Coffee and chili, huh? I don't like raw carrots. I don't like. If you basically name almost any fruit or vegetable, my answer will be no. I don't like it. That is, I am. I am the pickiest person I've ever known that wasn't picky because they had Crohn's disease or some reason for not being able to eat stuff. Basically, all fruits and vegetables I don't like. The only exceptions to that are I like. Guacamole, which avocado. I like, um, I'll eat broccoli. I don't like it. I'll eat green beans. I don't like them. Um, and asparagus, I like decently well. Don't like watermelon. Nope, don't like that. Uh, you like the crunch of cucumber, but not the flavor. Whoo, there's a good weapon. Okay. Oranges, I don't like oranges. Orange flavored stuff is okay. I like cherry flavored stuff, but I don't like cherries. I love lime flavored stuff, but I don't like limes because because of the texture. It's because of the texture of fruits and vegetables. I just can't stand that either mealy crunch or that mealy like potatoes. I don't like potatoes because of the the grainy mealy thing to them. But I like french fries because they're like a crispy thing. So I don't know. Don't like pineapple. Nope. You love pineapple, but it gives you heartburn. Tomatoes, tomatoes and certain things I can I can handle, like like salsa and I don't like just f whole slices of tomatoes like on my burger and stuff again because the texture. But if it's like ground up or the flavor of tomatoes, I like. Okay. Boiled potatoes? Nope. Nope. I know. I'm I'm blowing some of y'all's minds with what I like and don't like. It sounds like. <laughs> All right, um, so we're going to do this. I only have four drone parts, so to not use a drone part would be great. 
All right, let's see. Two guys. Okay, so I think... I think he might actually have four crew here. So I might be able to do... To lock down four guys if I purposely don't kill this guy. Good Dumble Doge. Try to shoot the weapons here. Okay, good. Okay, I'm purposely moving around. I want to get, I want to get all their guys in the shields, and lock them in. And that should be that should be the unlock I need. Are there four? Damn, there's only three dudes. All right, well I'll still do the lockdown. Hey, this is the problem with this. Frickin' quest. You have to lock down four dudes, and they never have frickin' four dudes. And I kind of lost track of rock ships. I think I've only still only fought, like, one so far. You can sit there and eat a tomato like an apple. You love tomato. I can understand that. I just don't like it myself. I can understand people liking it, but... Strawberries, berries, no. I, I don't like the texture. It's all about the texture. Um, everyone likes strawberries. I, I actually don't like strawberry flavor that much. I prefer cherry by a long shot. So. Used to buy punnets, off sen of, punnets of Santini tomatoes to make salads with, and you'd end up eating most of them out of the box. What's a punnet? I don't know what that is. Is a punnet a bushel of tomatoes? I don't know what that word is. Um, okay, so heavy laser. Charge on plus heavy laser... That's not that good. Well, with hacking, it's not bad. They only have two shields. Okay, I guess I gotta do this, though. So I had the option of doing, like, this, I guess. God, this run has been not great on... It's great on free weapons. They've all been bad, though. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend. She won't eat tomato by themselves because of the texture and lots of other foods like that. Yeah, it's a texture thing for me. Um, That's actually a really good deal, but I can't take it. No, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's too good of a deal to pass up. Might be a British term. First comes, fruit comes in punnets. It's basically a box. It's the packet they come in. Punnet of strawberries. Yeah, it's got to be a British term. I've never heard that. 15 missiles. Nice. Okay. Uh, Pun is a small box or square basket for gathering, transport, and sale of fruit and vegetables, typically for small berries. Did you just, like, dictionary.com that? <laughs> what are the achievements I need? I've already done the, um, destroy the enemy ship with crystal vengeance, which was stupid and annoying, and we just did it and reset real fast. Um, we need to trap four enemy crew in a single room, which is what I tried to do, but there were only three crew on the last ship. Or I need to destroy ten rock ships throughout the entire run, so it's... I'll probably, uh, it'll probably be the four man locked in a room. Better call, better call to go with the lockdown achievement than the ten rocks, yes. Uh, it's not, they both, I wouldn't say the four crew thing requires any RNG. No RNG required, you just gotta get late game where there are that many crew. Oh crap, he's got hacking, he's got a missile, god damn it man. All right, um, I'm going to hack his weapons, and I'm going to board his weapons. This is going to lock him down for years here. You hack my weapons, I hack it right back, bro. You can fire that, it's fine. Lock it down. Hack the missile. Let's get you out of here. You're not doing any good in there. Okay, we're gonna lock it down again and hope we get the missile offline. Damn it. I was late. Take this freaking Oh, we got it offline! So happy. So happy. I'm curious, do you get uh, fighting training when we're killing a repair drone? You don't. That kind of sucks. Okay, so there are only three crew on this ship, so couldn't have done it. On the ship, couldn't have done it if I wanted to. Do this. 
do, 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 do. That was a Wikipedia thing. Okay, yes. How do you get your vitamin B, C, and D in my diet? I have no idea if I do. Maybe I don't. Um, like I did say, I do very occasionally eat guacamole and um, avocado is a super fruit, so I think that's got some vitamins. I do take a uh, vitamin supplement every once in a while, but I probably don't. So I don't know why I'm healthy or if I'm healthy. I'm probably not very healthy. But I don't know. I don't know where I get those vitamins. I might be very deficient in those. I have no idea, honestly. Better call to go. Uh, let's see. How many rock ships so far? Four crews guaranteed because they'll board you in phase three. I, I only remember seeing one rock ship so far, honestly. And pun is primarily a British, British word, yeah. Uh, phase three can be done without teleport. Yeah, it's true. Phase three, they could board you and you could lock four in. It's true. No vitamin C, Iran's going to get the scurvy. I actually do take a vitamin C uh, supplement during Christmas season when I'm trying to stay healthy since supposedly that's supposed to help your uh, immune system. I don't know if that's actually actually a thing. Okay, so we're going to we're going to board your weapons and we're going to hack your uh Let me see here. If I can If I can do this with nobody being in there. Nope. Okay. Probably need to hack his weapons because those weapons are freaking scary. And I have one drone part left. No doge, okay. Okay. Damn it, I let another guy in. Well. It's fine. The quicker he's in, the quicker we get out of this fight. So, pretty good dodges, too. Um, have I tried kiwis? They're a great source of vitamins. I've never had a kiwi, no. I have a feeling I wouldn't like the texture. But I haven't tried it. Pretty sure it's possible to prevent people boarding at all. Have a resultant shield, and I think you're all good. Uh, yeah, it's really easy. So easy. Uh, fruit is just good. That's all I can say. I'm glad you like it. Uh, but RNG, I mean, do it during the run before the boss. You're basically guaranteed to find at least four ships with four to five crew. The boss will give it to you for sure. Hope it ain't too serious, but how's the quiet apocalypse on my end? Uh, for me, I'm staying safe, staying healthy, I think. So, fine for me. God, drone parts is really becoming an issue. I'm going to do this because I need power for my weapons. Try to do a fight where I don't need to use a drone part. You just ate two kiwis one hour ago. So good. Nice. Kiwi has more vitamin C than a lemon. Okay. This guy's weapons are crappy. That's good. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Problem is I can't actually see how many crew are on their ships because I'm not actually, you know having upgraded sensors. So I should probably upgrade sensors, honestly. Okay. Might be able to... Nope, won't be able to teleport. Okay. Do, 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 do. Kiwi has a less fibrous texture than a strawberry and not stringy like an orange. Even the fruit that I said I like the most, avocado, I don't like eating raw all that much because of the texture. Like, I love the flavor, but just all fruits have a certain texture, and I pretty much always don't like that texture. So, as, as much as I appreciate y'all's suggestions... All my life, people are like, well, do you like this? Do you like this? When I say I don't drink, they're like, well, you just need to try this or this. I'm like, I don't like it. I'll try it. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, like, I know what I like, and I know that I don't like that. Raw wood. That's what I should have. Or just man the sensors for boring. Problem is, it's on the other freaking side of the, the world from the thing. So if I did that, I wouldn't have a guy on weapons, so my weapons would be slower, or I wouldn't have dodge. 
What I'd really like is crew. This ship needs crew because it turned into a boarding ship. So, kind of sucks. I haven't found any free... Uh, I did find one free crew. Come on, Ryan. You need to like everything I like. I know. I know. I do need to. My family used to tease me about it. You feel ya? <laughs> you feel me? You feel me, bro? You feel me? Yeah, well, this is still fine. because We're just boarding and locking down. Basically, we have a crappy version of the Crystal B we're playing right now. Next firebomb in the heal base sucks. I don't know if we'll put out a time before it does its thing. Please don't actually damage my ship, please. Damn it. You suck, video game. You suck. Um, you can use engine guy to check sensors. Yeah, I, but I don't want to micro around like that. I don't want to. A ripe kiwi is not that dissimilar to an avocado, though not nearly as fatty oily. You could mash it the same way you would an avocado for guacamole. Okay, that's cool. And send him to engines with fight starts. I could do that. I absolutely could. Am I going to? Probably not. It's a lot of micro and probably not worth. Once I see a ship that might have more crew, maybe I'll do it. Problem is, I'm fighting ships like this, which are going to have at most two crew. So, I know I can move my crew around. Thank you for that very helpful tip. Like, I've never played this game before. And I probably will do that when I need to, but right now I'm not doing it. Problem with people trying to get you to like certain food. Sounds like my parent trying to get you to like avocado. Yeah. I mean, there is things. You can develop a taste for things. That's... That's definitely a thing, but usually you have to, like, eat it over and over to develop a taste, and I apparently am too picky or something to not be able to do that or not want to put in. To me, it's like, what's the payoff? That I will get to eat salads? Ugh, I don't want to eat them anyway. So, but it's healthy. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Healthy is probably a good thing to worry about. Okay, this guy's weapons again are crap, so. More than 70 people in the stream? Holy crap. Holy crap. What is up, everybody? That is like the biggest crew we've had in a while. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Y'all are awesome. Except for the people trying to make me eat stuff I don't want to eat. <laughs> Y'all are annoying, but everyone else, you're cool. Okay, let's do this. Uh, you've always been an adventurous eater. You'll try anything once. I am the exact opposite. I will try anything zero times. <laughs> I do not want to try new stuff. I want to try the stuff that I know tastes good and eat it over and over again. That's what I want to do. Okay, you don't have a heal bay. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to lock it down. So he's only got two crew left over here, it looks like. Um... You're my engines guy, you're my weapons guy. Can we dodge this? Uh, no, because I have 0% dodge, so we do take... Ugh, damn. Shield damage really sucks. Some good hits there. Or some good dodges by him, I mean. Um, okay, we should get one weapon offline. If we get either of these weapons offline, he won't be able to do damage if I get my shields up in time. There it is. Okay, good. Actually, I think I do want to get my dude more fighting training. Actually, we probably just need the Mantis in here to win the fight. Do we win this fight? Uh, if I swap them around, I should. Oh, oh man, this is bad. Um, crap, I don't have a way to force this guy to attack this guy. Oh, frick. I might lose Marcus here. He's in the fourth slot. Why the hell is he in the fourth slot, by the way? What makes what makes them do this shit? Okay. Okay. Whew, I don't know what makes them go to the fourth slot when they do that fight, because that you can't you can't get your guy, you can't force him to go there. Was that the manning station? Oh. So I just said Well then why did my 
I thought you always go to the manning station first when you board a room. So why wasn't my guy in that sit in that place? <laughs> um, my Japanese guy got me to try Natto, and I got him to try Marmite. We both gagged. He's in the fourth slot because he has console, so it's their first slot. I can't man their ship. Well, when they... Okay, what I'm saying is when they board me... And they go into a room with Manning. Don't they always go on top of the person who's manning the ship? My crew ignores manning stations, but theirs doesn't? Okay, well, I guess I learned another thing today. Because they will always go on top of your guy and fight it, right? They won't do that? Okay. I thought when they boarded your room, they always went on top of your guy. It's only if you mind control them? Okay. All right. Well, that's a guess a, a thing about Manning that I didn't know. Um, what are where are we in? We're in a NG sector. I should find another store here. I still want to find a good weapon system. Okay, all right. Well, I have known that there are times when I can't get them to go on top of each other when I want them to. I guess I didn't understand how they worked with Manning station Manning stations. Okay, he's got a heal bay. He's gonna board me. Okay. Um, pickled herring is pretty tasty. I do not like pickled anything either. <laughs> Although I should probably not con continue to participate in the food liking discussion because I'm going to just not like anything. <laughs> really? Really? Zero fucking dodges game? Cool. Thanks. Uh, crap. They have all mantids. Um. Okay. Right, it's gonna be. Able, it's gonna make that guy unable to get through. All right, we're getting the extra mantis in here. I should win this fight now. God damn it! I'm. I am literally dodging zero shots every volley. God damn it, game. He's gonna go right through there. Actually, I don't have any shields either right now. Okay. This fight sucks. You suck, you piece of shit game. Just hack it and kill him. <sighs> I've got to repair my shit. All right. Well, I have my lockdown back up. I think I will. So I need to do this. So he should come to this room, I think. Although he won't be able to get out. Ugh. Annoying fight is annoying. Oh god, I'm not even gonna read that. Emzas, that's that's nasty. Okay, we can lock that down. Now we got it. You're curious about some foods that sound horrible, like fermented shark and thousand year eggs. Okay, that's double reward. Not that good of a reward. We took way too much damage that fight. Does lockdown achievement required to be their ship or can it be on yours? Just as in a single room, so I think it could be your own ship. Okay. Uh, stinky tofu is one of the worst ones I know of too. Basically, smells and tastes like a dumpster. Why would that? Why would people choose to eat that? Sounds nasty. Okay. All right. Double store. I have three jumps. Okay. It's a great question, Rand. We go about talk back to talking about puns. <laughs> There's mind control. If I got mind control. I don't have shield defense or uh, missile defense, right? Yeah, unless we count hacking. Uh, I can't get drone control. I just don't have enough drones to sustain it. Do I go all in on the boarding with mind control? I don't really don't like that play, especially since my weapons are shit and I don't have missile defense. Although I do have. I do have crystal boarding, which is good. Um, I probably need to buy drone parts, honestly. Sell the crystal B. I think I might just get the crystal H online and use mind control. I have enough for cloaking if I go to this other store and see cloaking. 
<sighs> I guess we're going to commit to the mind control. I don't love this at all, actually. I was hoping for a flak. I'm always hoping for a flak. It's backup battery. Okay, empty need a bank. Small bomb is good for boarding. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do is... I need power. Okay, I'm going to do... I'm going to get backup battery. I guess I'm going to save up to get the Crystal H online. God, these weapons are so terrible. Oh my god, this run is not doing what I want it to do. Okay. Uh, three drone parts for a reactor upgrade. So I just bought like two. I should have bought more, apparently. So we'll be done too. I'm going to do it. Because I need power. Again, don't love it. Wow, we have all these civilian sectors. No cloaking this run. Flagship fight will be interesting. Oh, it's, it's, this is not looking great, honestly. But we really only need the achievements. So I just need a really lock of four guys in a room and we'll, we'll have completed our, our goal. So this guy might have four dudes. So I'm going to board in the clone bay. Lock it down. Really? Really? He's just sitting right there waiting for my boarding, I guess. Um, I actually don't want to kill this guy. So I'm going to mind control. Not let us kill the clone bay. I think I have to hack their weapons here. You know, that puts me down to one drone part. Combat drone's getting through my shield my shields by its frickin' self. Get it offline, please. Good. Do 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 do. Zero dodges. What a big goddamn surprise. Okay. Okay. We go in here because I can't get in there because of the teleporter. Or because the uh, hacking's there. Anybody repairing here? No. So they do have four dudes. So getting them all into the same room is going to be kind of tough. Uh, okay. What I need to do is this, 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 this. I don't get him to go get to kill that guy. Taking so much damage, man. Okay. I'm gonna finish this damn fight, man. They still have a crew somewhere. Where is he? Oh, it's no, oh, it's a fire. Jesus. Okay, that's a lot of scrap, but ow, man. Freaking ow. Oh, this run is shit. Gotten crap for weapons, except for the heavy laser. These guys all have burst lasers and flax and crap that I wish I had. Um, let's see here. It's way, it's past three, your work day is over. Nice, Emzas, very nice. You do like sourdough bread, but it's nice, easy. It's not as big a thing here in the UK. I don't, I don't like sourdough. I love bread, but I like sweeter breads, not sour breads. Pulsar, no thanks. I guess I just get third shield and try to play defensively? I don't know, man. I don't know what the play is right now. Our boarding's just not that strong. Good luck with the achievement. You're going to go play some board games with the roommates. Nice, Cruel Angel. Have fun, my friend. Hey, what do you know? Goddamn missile. Okay. Um... If I do this, okay, if I do this and if I mind control, will that, that guy fight, okay, there we go, and then we lock the weapons room down, 
Okay. Freaking eye on intruder drone. Hey, uh, Scottish Pingu with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. Welcome to the randoms, my friend. Okay, we got the missile offline. That's great. Trying to not use... Uh, my whatever. What am I trying to not use? Drone parts. I think I need to get two more people here. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, and by this I mean have both of my shots dodged. Here. All right, would this count? Oh, either the guy died or a combat drone doesn't count, so... I don't know if combat drone counts or not. That should have done it. But I think maybe the guy died. Damn it, man. Or, or combat drone doesn't count. I'm not sure. One of those two. Okay, go do this. You don't trust American bread because it lasts for months. Bread should go stale after a few days at most. <laughs> we have like actual bakeries here too. You can buy real bread mid that day. Oh crap, don't die, human. Well, I'm I'm talking about I'm not talking about only like the loaves of bread. I do I do eat those loaves of bread. I make sandwiches with it, but I also like fresh rolls and like toast and all that kind of stuff. You do not need four of your own people, right? You have to capture four enemies. Well, I thought I did, but either one of them died right as I did that, or boarding drone or anti personnel drone doesn't count. I know I don't need four of my own crew. Four enemies. I know. I can read. I can read four enemy crew. However, there were four crew in there when I did it, but I don't think it counted because it was a uh, anti personnel drone. Uh, just teleport to four tile room when there are four enemies and use lockdown. I know how to do this! Please! Jesus Christ! Hey! Hey, Rand, have you ever played FTL before? No! New game to me! What should I do, guys? I freaking know, okay? I'm trying to do it with while also playing correctly, though. Jesus, y'all are acting like I've never played this goddamn game before. Okay, this guy's got crap for weapons. Uh... The problem is, if you board with two guys, they're not gonna send four guys, and I can only... Could send two at a time so please give me a break Christ like that's why I'm going with one guy with a one group of guys fuck you game god damn it they won't send four guys to deal with two guys that's just a, how this game works so please stop giving me tips on how to play a game that I've played for freaking years god All right, well now they've hacked my Teleporter. I really can't do anything to him unless I hack him. Under construction flagship. Uh, well, if we get the rebel sector, yeah. Do you know you can adjust the power to systems? I didn't know about that. No, I've never played this game before. God. Okay, now I can board. Um, I can't. I can't do it when they hack my goddamn teleporter. I just can't do it. Can I even get a crew kill if they hack my teleporter? Maybe. I know I'm, why I'm raging so hard, but it's just, it's so annoying when people backseat game you, especially when they backseat game you with incorrect information. Like, you should do this. That doesn't work. So please don't tell me to do that. <laughs> that makes me rage. Okay, so I think I just have to kill this ship because I can't can't get a crew kill. Do you know you can inhale, just reverse exhale? <laughs> I've never heard that. Do you know you can use mind control on your own guy if he's mind control playing enemy? No, I didn't know. I never heard these things. Oh my god. <laughs> but salt is entertaining. Uh, I think he's dead here. Yeah, you're dead. All right, good scrap rewards. Rand, you know there's a hotkey. Oh my god. Chat apparently needs some vented humans. 
Apparently, I need to frickin' vent chat is what I need to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, in order to actually do this whole lock four guys in a room, what I need, I, what I think I need to happen to make it work is I think I have to board in a two-person room where there's nobody in it. Actually, I could board in a two-person room where there's, there is a guy, and I just mind control like I've been doing. Lock it down so they can't get in there. Wait till my teleporter comes back up so I can get more people over there so that four people means they bring four into a room and then I lock it down. It's kind of hard. I think I actually need to upgrade teleporter for that to work. Honestly. You can vent chat if you mean purge. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, there's finally some good weapons. Okay. All right. Sell. Uh, can I buy both of those? It's a hundred and what? 130? I can. Yeah, that's just too good. Just gonna sell all the things. Um, I'm gonna get one more power and teleporter just for this quest I'm trying to do right now. Quest? What's this freaking Skyrim? I have a quest. We must quest. We must complete the quest. This achievement here. There should be a vent command. A vent command that randomly silences someone in chat for 30 seconds. Promise to help. I have a... Do I have any blue options? Nope. So I get five free full damage. Great. Fun game is fun. Damn it, man. We have gotten crap for crew this run. I just had to spend 120 on weapons to not have shit weapons. There should be a point system to be used with the said vent command. There literally is a point system. You are... You are gaining cookies right now. Uh, there's no vent command, but people tell me what kind of commands there should be all the time, so. I know, sold ion weapon. I sold two, what is it, are those chain ions? Farb would not be happy with me, I don't think. Okay, what do we do here? God damn. Uh, I think we hack piloting. God, these ships are so insane. This is the second ship that's had Burst Laser 2 plus a Combat 2 drone. These ships are actually ridiculous. He's probably going to freaking hit my weapons. Okay, that was actually really good dodges. Okay. Um... Yes. First laser offline. Oof. And combat drone. All right. Thank God for good weapons. And thank God that didn't hit my weapons. Should be a command which randomly tells Rand what commands there should be. <laughs> God damn it. What's wrong with you trolley-ass people? Oh, crap. I clicked on the offside on the other thing. Damn it. Freaking just... Apparently I'm playing uh, FTL and windowed full screen or something because... That would... I just clicked on frickin' OBS or whatever the hell it's called over there. On Streamlabs. Okay. If I was playing no pause, that would've just frickin' screwed me. You walked away on Ion's Crystal Weapons, and now there's a flak and a halberd. Should've gone AFK for earlier. Well, if you'd done earlier, I wouldn't have had enough scrap to get this, so thanks for not walking away earlier. You're gonna be lurking, Emzaz? Alright, enjoy your workout, my friend. Do, 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 do. I wish I'd been able to repair a little bit more on the previous store. Your ass is not trolley, it's just smart. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh, you like halberd beams, eh? Yo, dog, I heard you like halberd beams. I mean, that's great and all, but I, I need drone parts, actually, to make use of that fully. Need drone parts for my hacking. There's a store, though, so we can buy drone parts. Last time we had a glade beam, it gave us free glade beam. This time we have a halberd beam, it gives us a free halberd beam. All right. Now I just need to get a free million dollars so I can get a free million dollars. Okay, that is the third combat two drone. These things are supposed to be freaking rare. What the hell, game? What the hell is with all of these ships that have goddamn combat two drones? At least I guess he doesn't have a burst laser two this time. But if he missiles my weapons, I'm screwed. Okay, good. Did not. Thank you, game. Okay. 
Get the missile offline. Yes. Very nice. Okay, now we should be safe. Rand is beaming. Oh, my God. Dual glaive, dual halberd. Rand is beaming. What an amazing pun. So amazing. Um... Sadly, I need to stream when Rand can watch me so he can backseat you. <laughs> so I can backseat Pie Boy. My life would be so complete if only I could backseat Pie Boy. You do like beams. Have another. <laughs> you can foresee a pre-igniter floating in space. That would be amazing. If we got double halberd glaive, uh, double halberd pre-ignited, I would slightly forgive the game for not giving me the pre-ignited glaive beams earlier. Just slightly. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. All right. All right. I guess we do it. Wow. Um, okay. There it is. Where were you? Where were you in my life last game? Game. Where were you in my life? I need drone parts to help. Man, I kind of need to sell the halberd beam, honestly, for scrap, but I can't because then I wouldn't have double pre-ignited halberd beams. <laughs> Think that if I streamed FTL and Rand tried to backseat me, he'd end up extremely salty because all my shit decisions and fails. Well, I have watched um, somebody, many of you know, Burger play FTL, and it's pretty hard because I keep will tell him, I'll, I'll be like, why did you do, you should do this. <laughs> and he just doesn't do it. Uh Okay, this should give me another crew. Nice, that's really good. Uh, finally an NG, okay. So it is hard to watch less experienced FTL players play FTL poorly. It can be hard. <laughs> uh, burger lull. Burgers, I love Burger. And if he's here, don't take offense, but when I watch him play games, I'm often thinking, that wasn't a very good play. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Burger. Uh, but but you get you need to get good. Learn to get good. Uh, no matter how much I yell at the screen, they can't hear me. One of your favorite last play groups. Oh, one of my favorite last play groups, Achievement Hunter. You did a modded Minecraft let's play. You hated it because you would scream at the thing. Okay. Okay, let's get more people over here. I guess. You suck, Burger. <laughs> he doesn't suck. But when he plays games like FTL, like strategy games, he doesn't play them that often. He likes to play like action games, which I suck at, so I can't say anything about those. But like when he plays like strategy games, I'm like, oh man. Oh man, I'm I'm having a hard time right now. <laughs> uh, you should name your crew with food names just to troll the chat. Name my crew with... No, I don't actually like spending a lot of time renaming... My crew because that takes a lot of time so i'll probably not go ahead and not do that okay so i need you to be here these boarding humans wouldn't have counted towards the achievement genuine question you know maybe i should have vented them into here so i could get four i bet you it would have should have done that missed an opportunity damn my bad fishing mailed <laughs> Yeah, I should I should have done it. I should I didn't even think about that. Stop distracting me, chat. Ugh, you're so distracting. Okay, I need power. What else do I need? Drone parts. So I think I just repair a couple drone parts and power. Yeah, let's do that. Hashtag blame chat. You're not even good at FTL when I'm playing it. <laughs> uh, Ram plays FPS, but only following chat backseating gaming. What? Only following chat backseat gaming. I don't know what that means. Um, okay, do I take this fight? Can hack your piloting. If he hacks my weapons, this will really suck, so please don't hack my weapons. Let's see where the hack goes first. Okay, shields. Do, do, do. Please get the burst laser. Damn it. The worst weapon I could have got offline is, of course, the one that went offline. <laughs> Only FPSs you like are the ones where melee is a viable option. Yeah, FPSs are not really my thing either. Really, I can't dodge a single thing because apparently uh, 
30 whatever percent dodge is 0% dodge. Cool. I've played a couple FPSs on stream too, and as predicted, I got salty as hell. Because that's what I do. 20 whole scrap. Did I at least get a map for that? <laughs> Wouldn't matter because that's the end of the sector. So great. Used to love Halo up until like Halo 3. Yeah, the only FPSs I played like a lot of were back in college. I played Halo and Halo 2 with my college friends as like a get-together thing. So that was fun. But like I played Overwatch on stream. I played some Rainbow Six Siege. And I played those each like one or two times. Just couldn't do it. It's just... Well, it's too rage inducing to play. Inducing to play. Uh, I'm not doing Abandoned Six, Kenny. I'm not doing it. To play uh, PvP FPSs. Just can't do it. You didn't play a single FPS until your ex got you into Overwatch? <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, you mad? I now get to troll Kenny. Hey, I could go to uh, Abandoned Sector, but I'm not going to. Kenny's so mad. Kenny mad because me bad. All right, so I need 75 to get the Halberd Beam online. Rage in douching. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible deal. So what could I do at a store that would be nice, that would be useful? Buy fuel and drone parts, I guess. God, I hate spinning scrap on that. But I need to. One, two, three, I guess we can do. Four and then across. Yeah, let's do that. Rainbow Six Siege is super hard to get into. Salt is very understandable. Yeah, I played it on stream because Shogi uh, gifted it to me. And I like watching it. Like, I watch, um, I occasionally, I haven't watched her in a while, but I occasionally watch uh, Ammunition play that. As long as I don't kill them all. Yikes. Oh, my God. Really? Okay. Well, okay, we do have the pre-igniter. But uh, when I played it, man, I raged so stinking hard. Okay. All right, we do charge up our stuff before his stuff. So, hopefully the one shot will make him uh, go ahead and just give up whatever he does. There it is. Let him live. Get a free weapon. Swarm missile. Nice. Very nice. You loved Overwatch at first, but then started playing comp competitive. Almost got to Platinum. At some point, realized you were spending hours at time sitting at your computer angry as F for no reason. Just uninstalled. That's why I don't play PvP games very often. I will sometimes play Smite because it's something I could do with my brother and my, my other friend, Tim. And But I don't stream it anymore, and I don't play it by myself. Because I have enough time where I'm screaming and raging at the computer in front of people. Doing it on my own, that's just... Just... Doing damage to my psyche, probably. You love watching Siege, hasn't played it because you know it would suck hard. Well, that's... And I kind of get my, um... I kind of get my PvP fix from watching competitive League of Legends, because I love that. I get to watch other people get really, really ragey, but also be really insanely good at it, and I don't have to rage, so it's great. All right, so now we have the option of the, hal the halberd beam, the double halberd beam, if I want it. Um... Do I want to pre-ignite it? That would require a, a drone part to get through, and I would need to upgrade my hacking. Let's go and do this so we have the option. I'm going to do this. So flak won't be up immediately, but it charges fast, so we'd have to wait for the hacking anyway. I'm going to have this pre-ignited, I think. Double hole, halberd plus hole beam? Oh, that would be one shot on the boss, wouldn't it? Uh, it's, it's not efficient to do that right now, though. I just don't have enough scrap to make that happen. I have seven jumps. One, two, three, four. Uh, the only way to get seven would be six here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can do that. Now I get why you, you like to see me rage, huh? <laughs> All right, NG quest. Well, if that's the correct one, we're not going there. So six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, but I can't get here in five. I'll miss the store if I do that. Do I care about missing the store? I don't really care about missing the store, but I want to get all six jumps. So I guess I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Closest thing to PvP you play anymore is the occasional match of G Mod Murderer or TTT. Okay, I don't know what those are. 
Okay, I couldn't lock four guys in a room if I wanted to, because there's... Well, I'd have to, like, make them run through rooms here, so... Let's do this. Uh, smite is fun, but it's really only worthwhile with friends. Yeah. Okay, I want to do... I'm going to... I'm hoping I get this missile offline by hitting this immediately. Nope. But I do one shot, but I do take a missile. No surrender. You're dead. Hey, we dumble doged it. Nice. Used to play with your old roommates? Used to play what? Oh, Smite? Okay. It would have been a one-shot flagship with the whole, the whole thing. That's fine. Yeah, I guess I gotta go one, two, three, four. There's no really other way to make this happen. Unless I want to dive for the quest, which I don't want to. Oh, Gary's mod. Okay. Trouble in Terrorist Town and Murder is... Okay, I think I've seen... I think I've seen that on... Um... Do they sometimes play that on... Um... What's it called? Uh... That YouTube channel that's really famous with a bunch of British people. Uh, that has Simon and Lewis. Lewis and Simon. Yogg's Cast. I think I've seen Yogg's Cast play that. Okay, demand information. Of course. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, good. We dodged it. Now you can hire enemies that don't want to fight you. Do what? What can he? Now you can hire enemies. Oh, new patch and banner lord. Okay. I keep seeing the second half of people's messages. Damn it. Uh, with pause, I think the falc will still be pre-ignited if you switch a halberd for it. Not sure if that makes sense. I don't know what a falc is. Oh, flak. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a... I find that cheesy to do that. It's called... There, that's a, there's a maneuver for that, and I find that super cheesy. Yeah, let's take free stuff. I don't want to fight a double missile guy because I have no missile defense. Okay. Get a couple drone parts each time. All right, since I don't have missile defense, I really should get... Um... So I know that this is the correct quest, so I'd have to die for it. Uh, but I should get power. I want dodge. Okay, I'm going to do this because we're. it looks like we're diving. I think it's worth the dive because we get titanium system casing and something else. I think we get a full repair. Oh, <laughs> there's a stasis pod. Okay. Take the weapon. Small ball. That's a great weapon. Okay. It's the Sven maneuver. That's right. Not the Picard maneuver. It's the Sven maneuver. It works with all weapons with one charge for one for chain weapons, of course. Yeah. Screw all bulkheads. Prepare for dive. That's right. Have all of my missiles. Nice. All right, this this is really good. This is definitely going to be worth, I think, because I think we get a repair from this. Unless it's the rock quest I'm thinking of. Okay. Manned by rebels. Okay, so I think I want to kill these guys. I know I want to kill these guys. Um, but I also want to not take damage. So we're going to do this. going to lock down the that. We're going to do six damage to his weapons with our halberd, double halberd beam. Okay. Good. All right, so how many crew does he have? Let's find out. So I see one, two, three. So I still can't get the quest done, this, this one. Sucks. But we can just get the crew kill here, which is good. NG boarding party, let's go. Now that should pull both of those guys in there. And we can open this up for him to come in and die. There it is. Okay. And NG emerged victorious from their battles with only minor losses. The message you. Project X ME 56, commissioned by Federation Military Research Division. Man Stealth Cruiser. Ask about Mantis ships. 
Transmit coordinates. Yes. Full heal, titanium system casing, 51 scrap. That's a reward right there, boys. That's a juicy reward. Definitely worth the dive. Should have taken Stasis Pod, could have gotten Crystal Vengeance. <laughs> so worth, EPB, so worth. Uh, gets Crystal Cruders, he started with Crystal, he can get Vengeance anyway. Yes, it was a, I'm pretty sure that was a troll ogre. A troll ogre. There's a troll ogre. A bulkhead is a reinforced door, like used in banks or air with, or air watercraft. That sounds right. I think you can make bulkheads in, um, uh, in Subnautica, and it's like the door between the different segments of your ship or base or whatever. Okay, so power. Dodge power. We're going to do this since we're diving. Do, 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 do. I'm going to even get one more power so I can get the hacking online. Okay. Hey, Rand, I'm watching you play FTL, playing FTL myself. Pretty meta. So meta. So meta. My mind is blown right now. And I'm totally not being sarcastic. Damn it, that was the worst possible freaking place you could have gone. So, of course, that's why you went there. Damn it. And of course, you have a missile. So I lose dodge for this crap and also slows down. I'm not sure if it slows me getting down. It slows me slows me down getting out? I'm not sure. It's okay. We just got a full heal. Hit my weapons. That's fine. We now have flak plus halberd beam. I was going to swap that out anyway, honestly. It's just good, it's good to do it. Don't even, don't even care. I'm glad you did that, really. Okay. Swap this in case the ASB hits our weapons. I'd love to dodge this. I did not dodge this. Hey, we resisted. Ha! Uh, so that means we took the whole damage, but not the system damage. Okay. All right. Not a bad dive. We took six damage. Abandoned Sector 7. Hey, Kenny. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. That's a big fat ball of nope right there. The worst sector in the game. I'm not doing it. I'm not freaking doing it. Uh, Tyler, you should stream so I can play FTL while watching play FTL while watching Rand play FTL. <laughs> what a... <laughs> Kenny's so mad. I love it when I control chat back. Ha, ah, it feels so good. You would stream, but you don't think your internet is good enough for streaming. Maybe when you get a new PC, you're not plugging, I swear. No, you're fine, Tyler. You're fine. Uh, how can I get mad when, like, literally, um... Uh, Pie Boy got, uh, uh, Twitch affiliate basically stealing half of my viewers. <laughs> no. I guess I could get mad, but no, it's fine. It's fine. It's probably a good thing that, uh, Pie Boy doesn't stream at the same time as I do, or else I'd be like, stop taking my viewers. <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks, Contestool. I don't, again, don't want to just keep tracking numbers, but that's cool. Uh. All right, so let's see here. Um, what do I want to get online next? I would love to get flak plus the double halberd beam. I just want to sell... I probably want to sell small bomb in the ti uh, titanium system casing. Oh, yeah, but I don't stream at the same time as you. <laughs> Lol. Well, you actually have... Uh, you've raided me a couple times, too, haven't you? Imagine watching Pie Boy, lol. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Your weapons are not amazing. So I think I can actually do this. See if this hits. Hits. Tell, uh, that's down. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to do something. Uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going to go into weapons. Going to lock it down. Going to mind control the NG so that we don't attack him. He's only got three shots. He can't do damage to us. So, and then we're going to teleport into the shield room they should have four uh, actually i don't even know if they have four crew in this in this freaking room right here oh they only have two crew never mind this oh they all boarded me uh okay 
Okay, they did have four crew, but they boarded me. All right, uh, this still... Will this still work? It won't work because they're going to kill this guy because they have clone base. I think they, they think they can revive. Damn it, man. So hard to... An achievement's hard. Why is it? Why would an achievement be hard? Why I gotta make achievements hard? Oh, they're back. Okay. Now I might be able to do it. Um. So I teleport here. Go here. Can I get all four of them in here? I need to get in here quickly. Come on. There. Everybody in. GG, no escape. <laughs> I hope I don't lose crew for this. Uh, okay. We did it. That is Crystal B unlocked. Frickin' GG cookie time for that. <laughs> Alright, I told you. It's not that easy. Frickin' achievements are hard, but we did it. Frickin' did it, man. Okay. Alright. Whew. Run around and around. The problem is, I, if I run around and around on my ship, they're not going to leave until they're low on health. So I had to get them low to health, on low on health before they would go back. Uh, and then I needed my guys to not die from fighting a mantis. So it's not as easy as it looks. It's harder than it looks. That's what she said, giggity. All right. We got there. We got there. I don't have to, like, cheese it by doing phase through the boss and waiting for a bunch of guys to board us. So... All right, all right, we did it. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now I can actually just hopefully win this run. So I got a uh, small bomb, titanium system casing to sell. What would we look for? We already have pre-igniter. We have all the weapons we want. We have backup battery. I guess there's nothing I would really want from the store, right? Fuel, actually. So uh, how many jumps do we have? Plenty. So let's go ahead and get up to 10. Drone part for two here. So I need 190 scrap to get the last weapon online here. Okay. So I actually don't want to go to the store, do I? Um, well, there's nothing I can think of that I really want that much. That's a tricky one. That is a tricky one. So I'm very happy that we got it. Because we're definitely not getting the kill 10 rock ships quest. 10 missiles, beautiful. You've never had the statue pod and Sultan Station at the same time, though? Oh, you're trying to uh, you're trying to unlock the crystal ship? Yeah, that's that's tough. Don't even go for that, Nizano. Just play through all the ships and unlock everything, because that's the other way to unlock it. Just play through the ships. Uh, they're in my O2. Don't stress yourself out over doing it that way. Um, okay, I'm going to try to... These weapons aren't crazy strong. I'm going to do this so that they will not kill that. Okay. Still want to board as much as we can because boarding rewards are very good. So I can do that. Do need to get the Pul Vulcan offline, though. The Pulcan. Okay, we need to heal. Ah, goddamn Vulcan. Okay. I'm trying to not... Oh, gosh. I guess I can't... I guess I can't not hack him. Damn, just so he doesn't have anybody manning it, which is good for us. However, I should get that offline. Wow, we can't get his Vulcan offline. What the hell? Okay, well, I guess it's getting me shield training, I guess. God, down there are my damn sensors. Get off a ship. How the hell is he keeping this? How many value points do you have? Christ. God damn it, man. It's the first time in a long time I've let a Vulcan spin up. That's what, that's what I get for greeting to not use a drone part at first. He must have had an NG repairing too, because he repaired like freaking instantaneously. That kind of sucked. All right, we didn't take too much damage. Your teleporter's on fire though. 
That's the first time in a long time I've actually let an enemy uh, Vulcan spin up. So bad game, me. More, it's. I would say I wouldn't say that was a misplay. That was more of a greed play. I knew Vulcan could be scary. I thought we would get it offline because hey, it's the four power weapon, so I do like one or two damage to the weapons. It should go offline, but freaking AI not playing like AI. You honestly don't remember when or how you unlocked the crystal ship. You, you guess you just mad got mad lucky. Uh, if you have a crystal ship on your sh if you have a crystal on your ship, you only need to find rock homeworlds and stumble across the right beacon. Still need RNG, but less than half as much. Yes, it's way easier if you just unlock all the ships than play Rock C with the crystal dude. Was that a nine power weapon system? No, that was eight power. Four plus three. The Vulcan's four. The heavy laser two is three, and the heavy laser one was uh one so that was an eight power weapon system which is still insane okay i can get this online all right i think i want to just be a gunship now <laughs> no more boarding just want to one shot everybody with my flak hal double halberd beam pre-ignited <laughs> fortunately you're bad at the game you've only won one game and have all their ships except stealth c so thanks for your advice um it's roxy that you need for that nazano not stealthy. Okay. Yeah, Roxy starts with the crystal, dude. Okay, where are they? They're way over here. Okay. That's how a lot of people get it done, honestly. Okay. That must be double crystal or double mantids. Okay. Let's do it this way. Have them kill each other. Kill each other, please. Okay. You bought Code Vein. I guess I'm going to spend the rest of the evening playing with character generation. What is Code Vein? What is that one? I don't think I've heard of that game. Is my Mantis fully trained? He is. Okay. You just spammed Roxy to unlock the crystal ship? Yeah, that's, that's the best. It's the... I mean, you could still even unlock it the real way with Roxy. So, you know, you could still, with Roxy, find the um, uh, damage stasis pod and get Ruin, and then you just have to get Rock Homeworlds. You could do that, but you don't have to get the damage stasis pod if you start with the crystal dude. You love the videos, Vizal? This run is already won with that loadout? Probably, yes. I mean, we had double glade beam last run. We have freaking halberd, double halberd flak. This run's kind of insane. Okay, teleporter. I would love more crew. Very nice. Put you on sensors. I'm gonna put one of you on doors, and we're gonna no longer plan on teleporting, most likely. Uh, Code Vein is a Souls-like anime. Oh. Um, a Souls-like anime. It's a game, though, right? Because you talked about character creation. Uh, on mobile, is a glitch where you rename the Crystal Crew member like Ruin something? Yeah, they used to be in the real game, but they they mod or they uh, patched that when they when Windows 10 broke FTL a while back. Dark Souls, another game which I had absolutely no interest in, but my girlfriend got me to pick up Dark Souls 3. Now the Soulsborne games are some of your favorite games ever. Now, nice. Okay, we have the uh, mind control counter. Again, trying to preserve. Wow. 100% dodge. Well, okay then. So much for preserving uh, my drone parts. Let's just go ahead and kill them then. Jesus. Yeah, let's go ahead and one shot you then, bro. Damn. what I get for being greedy, I guess. It's an anime-styled uh, game. Code Vein. Okay. I'm trying to think if I've seen it. It is a game you wrote that badly. Okay. Uh, Pre-AE was the only way and used to be harder. They didn't used to give you the quest beacon in Rock Homeworlds automatically. They didn't used to give you the... Well, okay. I don't remember pre-Advanced Edition. Because I think I only started playing after Advanced Edition came out. That missed graphic you like it's got Onesie Wilson? That is courtesy of Ren in the chat. Dumbledoge! <laughs> he's the new he's the new mascot of the chat. 
of uh, this channel actually all right so six jumps one two three four five six we might we'll probably have seven here honestly one two three four five six. so i guess we just go one one two three four five six seven hope we get some fuel here Supposedly the Ruin rename still works on iOS. You never tried it though? It's Ruin. R-U-W-E-N, not Ruben. <laughs> uh, it always keeps auto-correcting. <laughs> he must want a sandwich. <laughs> Ruin. Ruben. Yeah, I'm saying that. No, it's it's Ruin. Yeah, Ruben. I know, Ruben. No, Ruin. Ruben, yeah. <sighs> okay, uh, I never did get level 2 piloting. Okay. Uh, I should get level three hacking and another power. We are basically boss ready. Ru Ru bin. All right, all right. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hack because you are got a lot of good stuff. Do we one shot you if I don't hack shields? Hacking shields is slower, but we're doing it. And I can't believe we got pre-igniter this run, but didn't get it with the double glade beam last run. That's so... That deal is such a tease, man. Such a tease. Almost have the... Possibly the ultimate weapon system in the game to have double pre-ignited glade beam. And we were just the pre-igniter away from it last run. Uh, it's pure trash stylistically, but trash is the same in the same way that potato chips are trash food. Are you talking about the, that game that you are talking about? <laughs> All right, so what do I want to get? Um, fourth shield is like the only other thing we really need. You could go for a Reuben right about now. <laughs> My energy is still trash, so I probably wouldn't be able to get the crystal ship, but you're still try spamming Roxy with Reuben. That's what I would do. I mean, you've seen my bad RNG, right? And it happened for us just a couple weeks ago. Of course, that was really lucky. It's like, if you play enough, eventually it's got to happen. That's just math, really. I think that's math. Um, let's do... Let's do this. Get you down there. Do it the normal way. It'll make you feel so good. I don't know. It's nice when it happens. It's If you're impatient, it's going to take a while. It's definitely going to take a while. Uh, talking about other games, have you played the new games of XCOM? Um, I've I've played... I have played XCOM 2. I tried a mod of XCOM 2 called Long War or something, and God, that was so complicated. I got kind of overwhelmed by that pretty quickly. Am I sure I want to talk math again? Not really. <laughs> Did I talk about... Oh, because I said... Okay, because I was talking about the unlock of the uh, crystal ship. You like Xenonauts better than the new XCOMs? All right, so one, two, three. I need at least one fuel from one of these jumps to have to be able to get all these jumps. I actually need one, two, three, four, five. I need I need two fuel. If I get two fuel, I can get all these jumps. If I don't get two fuel here, I might just go straight to the exit. Although it's a nebula dive. And I have pre-ignited double halberd beam, so I'm probably okay with a dive as long as, as long as it's not multiple dives, <laughs> which I don't think that's possible since I'll get a fuel as long as I kill the guy. It is okay. All right. Hopefully we got that through fast enough to not take the flak two shot. Think Roxy might be your current save uh, high score on the save file. Nice. All right, bro. That's a one shot. If that was seven fuel, I would have taken it. But I need two fuel, two, three fuel. Beautiful. Nice. Xenonauts is a better successor, but XCOM is better for a newbie. Xenonauts is a good game, but a minute since I played through it. Should still play the original XCOM now. You played it once a year. You play it once a year. I had a friend that I used to work with who played the original XCOMs once a year way back when. Uh, I never played the original XCOMs. Only the, well, the remakes of the XCOMs. I played both of those. Okay. Okay, no defense drones. 
Please don't ion intrude my weapons. Sensors is fine. Hey, what's up, Dracalin? It has been a while. Good to see you, my friend. I'm doing great. Doing great. Surviving, surviving the COVID. Okay, I'd rather have more scrap. I don't need the fuel now. Unless you start with effing XCOM 2 modded with Long War 2. No, I didn't start with that. I definitely didn't start with that. I started with the first... Wasn't, wasn't there an XCOM that was like the remake of XCOM? I think that's what I started with. I'm going to have you stand over here. Need time splitters back? That was fun. I don't think I played that. Life has been busy despite the quarantine. Yeah, me too. But uh, it's better busy than bored, I guess. Is that... How the hell does that not connect? Like, I'm pretty sure if I measured, this would actually be closer to this. That's weird. I think I can still go one, two, three, actually. But that's weird. How does that not connect? XCOM Family of Games goes back to the mid-80s. Yeah, those original ones... I think there was one that was, like, underwater or something, and that was, like, the one my friend talked about a lot. That's the new XCOM, which is a bit dumbed down compared to the original. That's dumbed down. <laughs> All right, we dive. It's fine. Diving is fine. Do I get the, the force shield before the dive? I wouldn't have power for it, but I think still worth. Okay. Not 80s. No, 80s, not 90s, huh? XCOM Enemy Unknown came out in the 90s? Sounds like there is some... ...differencing of remembrances or opinions or something in chat. Um, okay. Uh, they might have started coming out in the 80s, but then more of them came out in the 90s, right? Because I think there are multiple expansions and stuff. Expansion's probably not the right word. Um... Sequels, maybe? Because I think... I think the friend... My friend told me, like, his favorite was... I think there was an underwater one, like... XCOM Into the Deeps or something like that. UFO Defense Enemy Unknown came in the 90s. The XCOM Enemy Unknown AI is the modern. First XCOM games was early 90s. Oh my god, there's lots of discussion in chat and difference of... Remembrances or opinions or whatever. Uh, hey, Rand, after you unlocked the last two ships, would you have to do some Captain Edition Infinite Space Mod run? Not sure what I'm going to do yet, Dracalen. Maybe. Again, I don't like to play those complete rework mods that much. Just too punishing for me. But maybe. Terror of the Deep. That's the one. Your internet just took a dump. Damn. Oh, I'm not even fully repaired. Okay. Um... Yikes, if I go for that repair, that's bad. I, could, I think I'd beeline it for the base and try to get one of these repairs. So if I go down here, that's a really roundabout way. I think we go straight for the base here. XCOM UFO Defense, U.S. release date, December 31st, 1993. Developer, Micro Press Stute Software. Okay. Uh, and then a link. Okay. Before UFO, there was Laser Squad from the same guy. And before that, he made Re Rebel Star. That was an 8-bit game from the mid-90s. Okay, well, there's some... <laughs> All right. Y'all enjoy having this great discussion. Got it. Uh, you only have three shields, so I only need two here. You found Arsenal Plus with the lower difficulty options a bit hard in AE mo hard mode, but still not as punishing as the captains. Maybe give that a try. Maybe. I know that um, uh, Biohazard has been telling me to play uh, Arsenal Plus for a while, so I might, I might get that a try. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Usually on Thursdays, I had been doing, uh, you know, like challenges and stuff, but Arsenal could be a fun one to check out. Okay, I just need power now. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure just power I need. Uh... Okay. All right. So that's all the power. I need backup battery. I wouldn't be able to have teleporter mind control, but one more power. Let me do that. Okay. You got two halberd beams and a flak. What run is this? You missed last run, Dracalen. I got double pre... Uh, huh, not pre-ignited. I got double glade beam last run. If we had pre-ignited, we would have replicated our best run ever. One of our best runs ever. Oh, the double freaking boarding drones. 
Why, why are you doing this to me, game? It's, it's not even that bad. It's just annoying because I can freaking pre-ignite your face off. Get pre-ignited, bro. <laughs> Get pre-ignited? Is that a... Sounds like a terrible boast. Get pre-ignited! What? <laughs> what does that even mean? It means I set you on fire before I even met you. Uh, why is this human going over there? Excuse me, maybe, but set fire to you, maybe. Excuse me, baby, I just met you, but can I set fire to you before I know you? I can freaking pre ignite your face off, that's right. Is this the same game series, though? Uh, okay, y'all are still having that discussion. All right, 71 scrap. Hope when I get that. Let's get one more power, so I have the mind control online, and now it's just value points. So, O2 value's good. Boom, boom. That's clip worthy, huh? Well, you can clip it. <laughs> All right, you have a freaking missile, man. All right, I'm hoping I get one. I'm hoping I get one of these repair stations. If I just get one, I'll be happy. If I get one repair station, I would be so happy. I did that too early. Please don't hit my weapons. All right, I didn't hit my weapons, but I didn't one shot him. And his missile hit me. Uh, I did get his piloting offline, so this actually should allow me to kill him. This should get him down to one shield, right? Yes, good. Beautiful. You lost your run already thanks to free borders and missiles. Frickin' missiles, man. They're the worst. I feel your pain, Tyler. I feel your pain. If you, if you want, I can drop some F-bombs. Just, you know, F respects for your run. FFTL. F it in the A. All right. Um, all right. We could wait and try to get a repair after the boss fight, but it might go away, and we have pre-ignited halberd beam, so I don't think I need to do that. So let's just get the repair. Um, do I get the second repair? Nah. Maybe we follow him second time, and maybe we can go follow him to the repair. Let's do this. Backup battery. Um... There, and sensors. Let's do that. Okay, looking freaking good, man. Thank you for respects. Yes, F-U-F-T-L in respect to Tyler. All right, don't hack my weapons, please. O2 hack, I love it. Absolutely love it. Not even swag sensors. No, not even. Okay, for the love of God, please don't missile my weapons. I want to one-shot you. Nice, no missile hit. And that will one-shot his missiles. So we can't get any more missiles off. One off lethal. All right, this flak should get in there in time, I think. Oh, crap. You set my frickin' engines on fire, bro. Rude. That should be... Yeah, you can't dodge. Nice. We even would've got a crew kill if that counts. I'm not sure if it does, though. Here's an augment concept idea. Weapon charge capacitor. Basically, every weapon can store an additional charge if it isn't being fired. Um, if it isn't being fired. I don't know how I would track that. Total of 19 damage, so it can't one-shot. Sad. If I'd got that whole beam earlier. But I'm not sad about the flak. Not even one little bit am I sad about the flak. Oh, there I went to the repair station. Oh, well. I took a damage. Not even perfect fight. The last thing I'd want to get would probably be power, I guess. Why are the boss rewards so poor? I guess they assume by the time you get to the boss, you better have your build. So it's just like a crappy ship fight reward. However, you can get augments and I think occasionally a weapon from the boss fight. So it's still kind of random. If I could have nine weapon power, how would you feel? Um, like I had hacked the game. Okay, so if I do this, I would feel like I had hacked the game if I had that much weapon power. Okay, here, here, and here. I should get at least one crew kill here, I think. So this, is, should, this should hit all these humans except for the mind-controlled one. 
Okay, that's one human dead. Swap these guys out so that the uh, NG's not quite so low on health. This isn't guaranteed to kill since he got his dodge back up. Oof. All right, we did get another crew kill, though. All right, and I think we would kill him before for the overcharge. All right, zero damage phase two. <laughs> All right. Feeling good. That's only 22 scrapped. You've gotten some funny stuff from the boss. Yeah, you can get... I don't know if I've ever gotten a pre-igniter from a boss. We were hoping from that last time, but sadly not. You seen a horror pair drone drop from the flagship to save the run? Nice, yeah. Yeah, you can get weapons and augments. It's pretty rare to get it from the boss. I don't know what the rarity is compared to the rarity of other ships giving you that kind of stuff. All right. Um, so 56 scrap. We're going to get boarded. I think it's a door upgrade. We have the mind control counter, so we're good. We will maybe run. With the with this build, I probably don't need to run, honestly. The pre-igniter makes it so strong. Almost a one shot. You got a burst laser two from the boss once. Nice. Uh, who is that? Fiddle diddle, thank you for the five months uh, of, of continued support, my friend. You're awesome. Appreciate that. Thank you for continued randomness. You haven't been here for so long. Looks like I'm having fun. Well, I'm winning. If I'm winning, I'm having fun. Damn, I don't want to. I probably. Okay, let's go ahead and just do this. This this will guarantee we get that down. There it is. He hit my weapons. Okay. All right, my teleporter's on fire. Don't really care about that too much. Do, 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 do. Okay. Almost time for us to run. Almost. And the uh, hacking's not really lined up here with how we did this. We're getting pretty bad dodges, actually. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Even though we're pretty close, I'm, I'm about to lose crew, and I don't... I just... It's, it's, it's smarter to run away, so I don't have to deal with the crew anymore. Let's make the safe play. Haven't made the safe play in a while, but we'll make it now. Do, 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 do. Uh, all the boss gives you is an ass kicking. <laughs> That's the paddling. Do, 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 do. I think I got a halberd beam from the second phase drop, really? You totally feel like getting, uh, getting wrecked. You crush a run up until getting smacked down by the boss. Yeah, the boss is... You know, it's the hardest part of the run. Well, not always. Sometimes, sometimes the boss can be the easiest part of the run, compared uh, depending on your build. But learning the strats for the boss can really make it much more doable. You thought running from the boss kills you? No. What you do? So here's here's the thing I just did. You'll notice I'm now on the base. Phase one and phase two fight him on the base. When he runs away for phase three, follow him. That way, when he boards you with his crew, you have a safe jump to run away to. The only way to have a safe jump is as when it starts phase three, follow him. Well, after you win phase two, follow him. Then, if you get boarded, things get out of hand, you can run back to the base. It's a big, very useful strat. I was looking at a review for a game and found this. For instance, Space Engineers offered a very intuitive infer interface for building 3D structures. <laughs> intuitive, huh? I must have a different definition of the word intuitive. Okay. Uh, you didn't even think it was a viable strategy until you saw Rand doing it. Are you talking about the running away thing? Yeah. I mean, again, I didn't make that up. That was from, I think I was, uh, I think that was a uh, Lethal Frag thing. Many of my strats I copied from Lethal Frag, just like many of my um, auction not included builds I got from God damn it. Um, uh, Francis John. God damn it. Stop hitting my goddamn weapons. Jesus, that is so frustrating. Now I gotta wait for my goddamn halberd beam to be up again. F you, FTL. It's like 
45% dodge. One goddamn missile hits my goddamn weapons and it slows down my win. You're slowing down my mojo. Crap. Crap, you fucking suck, video game. Okay, thank you. You go there, you go there. Okay, let's time this correctly this time. Don't hit my weapons again. Fuck you, FTL! I think two missiles have hit me, and both of them have been the goddamn weapons. Alright, guess what? You don't get any you don't get any more missiles, you piece of shit. Bye bye missiles. I hate you. Get the frickin' hell out of here with that crap. Get out of here with that crap. I don't wanna hear it anymore. Uh, you learn that having a higher number after the weapon name doesn't actually always mean it's better from Rand. Uh, higher number. You mean... Oh, you mean the, uh... <laughs> the power requirement is what you mean by that. GG cookie time! That is the... Crystal A and we unlocked Crystal B. I just had to have a little bit of salt. Just a little, little seasoning salt right there at the end. Two missiles, two weapon shots. Frickin' FTL for you right there. Uh, intuitive building 3D structure makes you think of Infinifactory. I don't think I've seen that one. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, you mean like Burst Laser 3 isn't as good as Burst Laser 2 and Flak 2 isn't better than Flak 1. Right. Yes. All right, let's check the score. Well, I'm glad I was able to teach you that. <laughs> 56 31. All right. Hey, Nietzsche with the 600 bits, my friend. Thank you. Rand 1 1 GG. <laughs> All right. So that is that is GG. That is every ship unlocked, I believe. Take a vip, victory lap around the uh, around the uh, hangar here. All right. All my A, A and B ships unlocked. Yeah. We got it, man. We did it. All right, so we have time for one more run today. So what I'm going to do is I want to take a victory lap. And we'll we'll take a victory lap with the ship we just unlocked. The easily most OP boarding ship in the game. I like Mantis B better because I just love Mantids in an unnatural fashion. But this ship has freaking cloaking, four-man boarding with three crystals. This is the most insane ship ever. So real quick, I'm going to stand up to Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all are enjoying the FTL. We have... Completely unlocked all the ships finally again. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Do I accidentally hit this button again? No, we're not doing that. So uh, when we come back, we will do one more uh, run to celebrate our victory. Thank you all for hanging out. You all are amazing. Can never thank you enough for uh, all the support and all the bits and all that wonderful stuff. I'll be back in a bit and play one more run. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And gals.